Hi, so here is my updated uh, module. I have uh, removed uh, the calling bell and uh, replaced with an active uh, FISO buzzer. Uh, since it, uh, this one is a low voltage uh, uh, buzzer, I don't have to uh, you know, connect via relay and uh, stuff like that. So you can see the buzzer over here. It's a tiny uh, module. I have not soldered. If I want, I can even solder this one. Uh, I just want to finish this uh, before uh, I can get one... Uh, you know uh, blank plate and I can just you know cover this hole so this is how it works so, and I have also updated the software so that uh, it's a bit more uh, you know uh, suitable uh, for my needs so let me just connect it to this power source uh, you can see there I programmed uh, so that it buzzes uh, three times like this long beeps and then it starts the you know relay and you can see there the first uh, relay is turned on and then it uh, turned uh, you know turns on this uh, uh, led lamp so uh, this uh, is uh, you know going to work and every 10 minutes uh, i have programmed in a way that it is uh, going to uh, buzz uh, based on the number of iterations so the first 10 minutes it's going to buzz uh, 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 single time and the second iteration it is going to uh, beep uh, two times and uh, so on so that I know that once it is seven uh, iterations are over uh, you know it is going to end the program so the last iteration it is going to buzz and uh, finally uh, it's uh, you know going to stop uh, while it is stopping it is going to make uh, one more sequence like this and then uh, it, it, is <laughs> it will uh, eventually going to turn off this uh, you know uh, this uh, port so this is uh, quite handy already I have uh, tested this and uh, it's just not a question of testing it already I started using it and it is quite uh, useful uh, I don't have to now anymore uh, uh, go there and manually need to turn off or check the water level and stuff it, it just works uh, I have uh, configured uh, if not 10 minutes it's going to work for 9 minutes and it is going to do this so that to compensate any you know intermediate delay and uh, stuff so I even put the updated code you can go there and have a look and if again I need any minor updates I may do that uh, time to time uh, like I said see this is not any test module or something this is <laughs> I need it to, uh, for my home use so I don't want to use that uh, you know chunky large calling bell and stuff uh, so I thought initially this buzzer I don't have but I checked in my kit and luckily I found a couple of them uh, lying around uh, this is an active buzzer and uh, well, as you can see, uh, I uh, picked up my kit uh, so that I can show, you know, uh, the stuff. So this is what I'm currently using, uh, somewhat like this. So this one uh, looks like uh, it's a passive one or something like that. If it is passive, it is not going to uh, buzz. Uh, instead, you need to send some PWM kind of signal, a sequence of on and off, on and off stuff so that it beeps. Uh, versus uh, this one is an active one I don't need to do anything I just need to turn on and then it uh, beeps so it will have some active uh, circuitry so that it you know buzzes versus this you need to do manually so something like that you can use and you can be you know um, uh, you know you can do the customization and have uh, fun with that but again as I said this is meant for real production use I just want to use it in my uh, uh, this thing uh, in my RO filter uh, I don't want to make it some kind of more compact module and fit it inside the RO filter I'm thinking this can be um, uh, customized sometime I can just uh, uh, use it to turn on any fan or something like that I can just do you know couple of other things with this but uh, at the moment I want to use it for that um, I don't want to tinker and mess around it just works and uh, like I said I just tested and it just works so you can see there uh, I just uh, you know I'm just testing with this uh, you know uh, power meter uh, since it is connected in this way uh, the connection is quite loose but if I remove this you know connect this lamp directly see this one is a not a good one uh, once even big Clive <laughs> shot a video episode on this uh, this uh, if it is you know poked around it can even short circuit so this one is not a good thing uh, I can directly use this uh, power meter but it has this type of weird you know pins so I need to use this to adapt uh, if I just plug this way it just works you can see there it just works and it stays on okay 
so hope you enjoyed if you have anything to discuss i do got some mails after uh, you know guys watching my first video uh, if you have any questions you can be in touch via you know email or uh, via youtube comments okay thanks a lot for joining me stay tuned have a nice day bye bye